Breaking news, hell has frozen over. Let's go to the scene. Hey guys, Chris with Wallawa Hikes. Welcome back. I've done something I'm not terribly proud of. After a long time of saying how stupid these things are, how pointless, how much unnecessary weight, I bought a backpacking chair. Let's take a look. All right, so why did I buy a backpacking chair after saying over and over and over again? how pointless and stupid they are, how they are more weight for something you don't need. Well, I guess first of all, it's probably important before you dismiss something and say something as awful that you experience it yourself. So figured I'd give it a shot. More importantly, uh, the chair I got was during the Memorial Day sale at REI and they have fantastic prices on these sales. And um, I got this chair for 30% off. And so I figured it's worth a shot. So let's take a look at it. What I have here is the Flex Light Air chair made by REI. Um, and it is honestly super light. This comes into about a pound. Sounds like a lot when you're uh, packing up all your stuff. But yeah, it weighs very, very little, so that's interesting. And um, honestly, you know, some of you might want to try a chair, so if you're watching the channel, we can try this one out, see if it works, uh, see if it's right for you. Uh, so this is the first time I've opened it. We're going to take a look. We're going to see if I can even get this thing together. Um, and if it's gonna hold my fat ass. So, here we go. Haven't even looked at the instructions, so this should be super fun, right? All right, so, comes in this nice little mesh bag, fantastic. And first thing I'm pulling out here, I assume, is the actual chair part. Um, nice, durable materials. Um, seems to be reinforced on the corners. So from there, we're gonna pull the rest of this guy out and it would appear that it's all in one piece. So really great little carrying bag here. Um, and here's our chair. So how hard is this to put together? I'm assuming not hard at all. We've got these little shock cords, aluminum poles, and these little hubs here, and everything seems to just go together like that. So, super simple so far. Now, from there, <clears throat> it would appear that this is just gonna go onto these pieces. So, gonna take a little look here and um, see how this goes. All right, we got this little guy on the ground here. Uh, does this look right? No. So, twisting this over here. And looks like this is gonna be our chair. Apparently this is gonna be the back. This will be the front. Now, does it go like this? Does it go like that? Based on what I see, the label. Okay, we're just gonna slip these guys right in here. And that's going to be wrong. Uh, the REI is upside down. So, turning it around. That's got to be right. Right? This thing looks so tiny. It's so close to the ground. I mean, I'm still not convinced this is going to be a good idea. But so far, it seems like super easy setup. These just slip right onto these little poles here. Last one's a little tight, and I would hope it would be. And voila, looks like a chair. Okay guys, I am really concerned about this. I stepped on the scale this morning, 230 pounds. 
Uh, and we'll look at the specs on this. I think it's supposed to hold up to 250. This may be a comedy video here in just a few moments. So, moment of truth, got it on a fairly flat spot. I am so scared about this. And, okay, a little wobbly here, but I'm also on fairly uneven ground. Um, and let's relax. So nervous that I'm gonna just fall down and get a billion views. Um, so, my first impression is, yeah, a little, it feels a little wobbly, but as I move around a little bit, it doesn't look like I'm gonna like fall over. Um, it does recline a bit, so that's kind of nice. Um, again, a little nervous, but there's a little bit of slope here. Um, actually hugs, hugs me pretty good. Um, nice, tall backing. Um, so I could totally see cooking dinner and chilling out in this thing. This actually is pretty comfortable. Uh, am I going to take it on my trips? I don't know. Um, I really do prefer the hammock. Uh, it's more versatile. You can sit in it and lay in it and, but that's going to be dependent on trees. Now, going to the enchantments this summer, and some of those lakes, they're just like rocky areas with no trees. Uh, beautiful, but no place for a hammock. Would I bring this chair? Possibly. Um, I've got a sit pad, but just sitting on the ground, you know, if I'm up there a while, I wanna enjoy a beautiful view. Maybe, maybe a backpacking chair isn't the stupidest thing ever. I, I don't know. I may have changed my mind. Um, so this is definitely cheaper than the Helinox chair that is so, so super popular. Uh, that comes into about 150 bucks. This one, right around $100. And again, I got that for 30% off. So this actually came in just under $70. Weighs a pound, obviously easy to set up. Um, and yeah. It's not the worst thing ever. If I stretch out my feet, uh, it does cut into the back of my legs a little bit. So kind of having your knees bent pretty good. I am able to recline and haven't fallen over yet. So this is, okay, it's kind of nice. Um, now, one of the things I've heard with these backpacking chairs is that they'll sink into the ground and that can cause them to just put you on the ground or, you know, maybe even break them. Um, this particular chair does not come with a pad that goes under, but you could grab such a thing, uh, even like a little footprint type thing. Uh, you could make that yourself. Um, you can also put things on the bottoms. Here, let me get up and let's see if a fat old man can get up easily. Actually, yeah. So that wasn't terrible uh, getting out of the chair. And even though it's kind of low to the ground, it's, you're reclining, it's nice. So the bottom of these are rounded pretty well. And um, so that's gonna keep them from sinking. But if you're in really loose, uh, muddy, wet conditions, uh, something under these might be nice. And there's all kinds of hacks on the internet. Um, it's a little wiffle ball things. Um, cut those in half, put them underneath, gives you a little more space. Um, and honestly, there's probably all kinds of ways to do this, but a little nylon sheet under this would probably keep you from sinking, distribute the weight a little bit all around. But I mean, this thing is super, super light. Um, seems pretty durable, reinforced on the corners. Um, I hate to say it, but I kind of like this thing. So that was on a little bit uneven ground, um, fairly firm, but a little soft. Uh, I'm gonna try the chair out here on, well, I just happen to have a spot in the garden here. 
of brick. So putting it on a solid surface, um, slight slope just forward. Um, I'm gonna see about stability, see if this is any better. All right, guys, Let's see how it does. Again, getting down. Uh, you know, this feels really great. This is super stable. So I've got, I've got brick down here, fairly level. Uh, it's going slightly to the front and um, feels a lot more stable than it did. Now, again, there is a little bit of sway here if you rock back and forth. Shouldn't be doing that. Um, same with front to back. Uh, going actually back. <sighs> Very nice. Um, again, it's be great. Um, I can't complain. It's not awful. Um, in fact, it's not bad at all. And adjusting. I'm a huge guy <laughs> with a huge bite, uh, 230. And I don't feel like this is going to collapse or, you know, break or fall down. Um, so there you go. You know, I guess it's worth trying things out before you say they're awful. Uh, am I going to take this on every trip? No. Am I going to take this on a lot of trips? I don't think so because again, I'm weight conscious. Uh, but yeah, definitely benefits to this. This is nice. I kind of don't want to get up. So if you want a backpacking chair, you don't want to spend a ton of money. Uh, the REI Flex Air. Uh, get it on sale. Uh, usually holiday sales, annual sales. Uh, wait until that's on sale. You can get a really great deal. Like I said, this was less than $70. Sounds like a lot for a chair. It is. Um, part of the reason why I thought they were stupid, but gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. So I will leave a link below if you'd like to try this chair out and purchase it online through REI. And um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.